facility we are in right now manufactures the world's best public transportation bus seats. We build every seat with pride in our quality, pride in our efficiency, and pride proud in our 125 year legacy. But most importantly, these bus seats are American made by some of the finest folks in bus mission. Today is not a normal Wednesday here at American City, not by a long shot. On a normal Wednesday morning, you would see 120 local UAW 135 employees and 25 salary employees working together as a team, building the bus seats our customers have come to expect, but not today. Today, we put down our torque wrenches, screwdrivers, and cab drawings to welcome a very special guest, an American icon. This individual is recognized around the world as one of the leaders of the United States, the right-hand man to President Barack Obama, the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden. We at American City are proud of you in our part to rebuild the American economy. One job, one seat, one community at a time. For 125 years, American Seating has made American products for the American people. Ladies and gentlemen, as I stand here, I am humbled and have never been more proud to be an American citizen. It is my great pleasure and honor to introduce the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden. It's the dominant manufacturing power in the world that they've already won the race. Well, let me give you a statistic. In 2010, China accounted for 19.6% of global manufacturing. In 2010, the United States just eking out of a recession that was the worst recession since the Great Depression. We, we account for 19.4% of the manufacturing globally in the world. So let's shed this notion that somehow we're starting from a 10-foot hole. We have the most productive workers in the world. We have the best financial system in the world. We have the best innovators in the world. We have the best research universities in the entire world. And ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely convinced because of you workers on the floor, America is coming back and will lead the world.